Okay, everybody, this is Crab Nine Volt Games. This is not a reaction video. I don't do reaction videos. However, with the amount of Mortal Kombat that comes through this channel, I feel like I gotta say something on it. I've already watched it a thousand times, all right? I knew when this shit was coming. I went to break at work to go watch it when it dropped yesterday. Uh, like I said, I, I watched it a million times, so there's a few things I like in it. There's nothing I dislike about this. I didn't want to do... I, I thought about doing a reaction video to it just because of this channel and the amount of Mortal Kombat that I've streamed and played and done videos on in the last year or so. But I knew I'd get emotional when I saw it. I fucking love Mortal Kombat. And going to see it in theaters when I was a kid was one of my one of my you know highlights of my childhood like post adoption so i was really excited and then you know annihilation was just none of my business but uh <laughs> that, that movie was terrible so i will say this like right off the rip there's a bunch of people that are complaining about certain things in the trailer when i get to the part i will say it and i'll say what i think about this because Information is pretty scarce right now. You know, we've been waiting. I've been following this at least with the cold young uh, storyline and how that's the, they were going to play it out that way for the last three years. And we finally got a trailer. So anything that I say is, is up to speculation. Anything you're reading online, unless it comes directly from the director, is fucking speculation. But let's hop into it and I'll point out some things as I go. <clears throat> This seven years ago on a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. The target. Listen, I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed that that's how Jax lost his arms because I'm just, I'm such a big Ermac fan. I wanted Ermac to be the one that ripped his arms off. However, I do understand that this is its own entity. And this seems to be a setup for a multiverse. And I actually hope it is. So, um, allow me to go back a little bit. I, this is still badass regardless. But I did want it to be Ermac. But if they're going to set their own way of how, how things are going to go, this is a good way for Jax to lose his arm. Gives them a reason to pursue the tournament. superhuman abilities I'm so fucking excited the same marking you do Cole it's a birthmark what do you mean he was born with it it's not a birthmark Cole it means you've been chosen throughout history different culture hold on now look at the yellow wraps on his hands now throughout this trailer he sees visions of Scorpion, which obviously makes anyone who watched this trailer think that he's a descendant of the um, Shirayu clan. However, the way that they're making Sub-Zero the big bad, if he's not being controlled by Quan Chi, or in fact is Quan Chi, they're really painting him as Bihan. And he looks like, if you, if you just completely blacked him out as we go in the trailer, you'll see he looks like Noob Saiba. He even comes out of the black shadow smoke at one point. So, is this guy going to take the place of uh, Kwai Liang when Sub-Zero's gone? Is he going to become the new Scorpion? Only time will tell. They obviously used him to replace for Johnny Cage. Melina! Different cultures all over the, world. the Great Kung Lao? Mm -hmm. Shang Tsung and Raiden? That dragon marking? I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. As Mortal Kombat. I want everybody who complained about um what the fuck is going on? I want everybody who complained about uh the get over here at the end of this to realize that Hanzo Sasashi, Scorpion. The man playing him is 60 fucking years old and he's Japanese, so he's not gonna sound like Ed Boon. Kano, the guy playing Kano, I, I just want to tell everybody I had a hard time accepting him as Kano because I just watched Anchorman 2, you know, and he's the Australian, uh, um, was it the Global News 
person. He's the guy who runs it. So it was hard taking him seriously till the end of this trailer. I'm Luke Kang. Thanks, Jax. Kung La. Lord Raiden. The fate of Earth is in our hands. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground. Mm. We will not fail. That is the Mortal Kombat 11 Shao Kahn. I'm very fucking excited to see this because of what they did to him in, uh, in Annihilation. Even if he's not in this movie and that statue is just for the sequel, because they already said they plan they're planning sequels, like that excites me a lot. No. Reptile. Oop. I save a pause. That's reptile. Oh, let's bring it back again. Again, this is not a reaction trailer, so if it's bothering you that I'm stopping, get used to it. That's Sub-Zero coming out of the shadow. So this is this has to be uh, Bihan. It has to be. And I really hope we get to see his transition into Noob Saibot during this. Because we get to see the transition of Hanzo Sasashi becoming Scorpion. I would love to see Bihan becoming um, Noob Saibot. This right here, ready? Hook swords, respirator. That's Cabal about to get eaten by a fucking fire dragon. Is this how he gets burnt? Because I would approve of this. Now, I did think of this and I said, well, if he gets burnt, why is he already wearing his respirator? Well, he's super fast. He could be wearing the respirator to cover his face, uh, you know, because he loses eyes and shit while he's running. But this would be really cool if this is how Cabal gets burnt, because that means we could see him in the sequel. Otherwise, this is just going to be a straight-up fucking fatality. Please don't do my boy Cabal like that. Goro, and then I don't know who this is. Now, it showed Goro... I mean, it showed uh, uh, the great Kung Lao, who was the original champion, and he was killed by Goro... And it showed him beating what I assume is a younger Shang Tsung. Um, but I am excited to see whoever whoever this is. If if that's not Johnny Cage, I would love to see Johnny Cage and Goro go at it in this movie. But we've seen nothing about Johnny Cage. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Whoa, wait a minute! Who was that? Who was this? Look at those wraps. Unless that's a regular baddie, that's a... That he's carrying a sword, though. I, I'm really just hoping for Ermac in some capacity. I am Sub-Zero. Or your Quan Chi. Like that Scarlet move. And then the Ice Wall, which is a throw in Mortal Kombat 11. Right there. So, that's a, that's the get over here people didn't like. I think it's perfect. It's perfectly fitting for a 60-year-old man to be yelling, get over here. It's like such a raspy voice. That's Cole. And Sub-Zero is attacking him. And Scorpion's protecting him. So, this is going to be interesting to see where it goes. That could also have been Cole fighting Goro. I don't want this Cole character to be the hero. I want him to die immediately. Unless he turns out to be another person. Um, in the series, and they're doing like a, a, an old switcheroo here. All right, ready? Now this one's gonna be rapid pauses here. Being a huge fan of Kerry Tagawa, the guy who originally played Shang Tsung, the guy we all know on this channel as Shang Tsung, I'm very excited to see what this man does with it because he looks like a good younger Shang Tsung. But, anyways. <laughs> Now, let's go back to this werewolf looking. That's reptile, right? When I first saw this, I was like, who the fuck is a werewolf? And then I watched it a million more times, and I was like, that is reptile from Deadly Alliance. And that's very exciting, because he's not just going to be another ninja in the mix. Um, there's been multiple iterations of reptile. There's a backstory that explains it. You know, the, the more... Uh, the longer he goes, like, he's he drifts apart from, you know, his, his peoples and blah, blah, blah. He becomes more reptilian. 
and then you know he gets controlled by somebody and becomes more human or humanoid so having kano be the one that beats reptile raises more questions and then this nice little kano wins you fucking beauty Let's see i'm very i'm very fucking excited for this movie I'm excited and I'm also worried. I'm excited for April 16th. I'm excited and I'm also worried for one thing. Now, they have Kano with the good guys in this one. They have Kano with the champions. And there is a scene when they're in the desert, which I assume that's Outworld, where Sonya is doing an armbar and a flip to Kano. I assume that they need to team up with him like he's being... He's tricking them into like moving into certain areas because in the way that the, the game goes, Kano always just works for himself for money and he just goes with his best interests but in the original like he worked for shang sung he was help tricking people helping to trick people so i'm thinking in this one hopefully he's with them for the time being and would fight someone like reptile to like prove his loyalty but uh it, ultimately he's going to swindle and trick uh the earth realmers into a trap or something working for shang sung that would be the ultimate thing because shang sung was once an earth realmer or he's 50 50 right so i'm excited to see where they go with this i'm excited I, I don't like the prospect of having a new champion i like Liu kang i don't like the prospect of having a new champion in cole but i'm excited to see what they do with him because like i said we didn't see johnny cage and like this movie has the right amount of cheese to be good and the right amount of like gruesome violence that we want and if they if they keep that mixture the movie's gonna be fucking great and it's it's on track to be the best video game movie um this trailer was already better than half of the video game movies that have come out <laughs> uh it's already that i made a joke on someone's facebook and i said this trailer just this two minutes and 30 seconds is already better than the entirety of annihilation so they're on track to make a good movie it looks like a good movie they got some good talent um i can't think of the man's name off the top of my head but he's fucking he's a great actor the guy playing scorpion i should i should have had notes for this anyways I can't think of a more perfect casting for Hanzo Hasashi. And the best part was, in Legacy, he played uh, Bihan. The first, in the first Legacy, he was Bihan, which is fucking amazing that he got to switch in reverse roles. And I'm glad they didn't keep the guy from Legacy who was playing Hanzo, or Scorpion. But what do you guys think? I think this is going to turn out to be amazing. Uh, go and watch the original trailer if you haven't watched it yet. And this is where I'm going to get Rona. Because I'm most definitely going to see this in IMAX. Most definitely. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for watching.